I was excited that you asked me to do it. Great. Good. Okay. So I'm just because um, an aspect of this is modeling for other uh, therapists. I'm just going to check what's going on for me. Normally I do this internally, but I'll do it externally so um, people are clear on what I'm doing. So there's a part of me that's um, nervous. That doesn't usually happen. Why is it nervous? Oh, it's a part that wants to get this right and really wants this to be helpful for people. So, okay. <laughs> Got it. So he can pull back a bit. That's good. What else is going on inside? Not a lot. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty calm, feeling pretty good, ready to start. I have a part that's aware I have a snoring dog in the background, but I hope that's not going to be disrupting. <laughs> and otherwise, we're good. Oh, no, there's another part that's reminding me. Um, where I'm sitting, sometimes birds flit by outside or a squirrel runs up a tree. And so you may notice my eye contact briefly flitting when that happens. It doesn't mean I'm not attending to you. Uh, if you notice it, it's just... That's what's going on, okay? So, mm. yeah. I like a lot of attention, though, so I don't know. Yeah. Okay, if it triggers a part, just let me know. <laughs> okay. Let me know. Yeah. All right, so how are you doing? Are you aware of any parts right now that would like some attention, or are you just, mm. you know, where, where does the question take you right now? Mm. Um, <clears throat> well... I think there's parts of me that are similar to yours that are like anxious. I think it's a part, there's a part that's up about just shifting from being busy to like landing here with you, just being busy with clients and all that stuff and then landing here. So there's a little bit of that of like feeling like I was kind of moving fast. And then there's definitely another part that's anxious about like wanting to make sure that this is helpful for people and um, that I'm, this is helpful. I think there's another part that like I, I'm, I'm open and, um, and I'm open to be personal and it doesn't actually bother me at all. But there are parts of me that are like, make sure you're not too personal. <laughs> like, <All right. laughs> there's a part that's like, um, make sure there is a, there, I do need a boundary. So I'm just noticing that I'm noticing a part that needs a boundary. That's great. That's great. And a reminder to you, um, that you have the power of veto. So if the session's going somewhere and your parents really want the attention, rather than pulling it back, we'll just wipe out the video. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because I want your parents to know they're more important than whatever this might be doing for other people, right? I really want them to get that. And if there's a part that really, you know, has some personal information, wants some attention, we'll go there. We'll just do this another time. Hmm. Well, you know, as you say that, what that really brings up for me, which is, I think, one of the things that's happening right now is that this part that said, well, that's Tammy doesn't feel that way. Like, we're not important to Tammy. Like, that idea of um, attending to my parts that might come up isn't as important as producing the video. Sure. So so this part is like, but Tammy doesn't treat us that way because the way Tammy treats us as producing the thing is more important than attending to us. Right. So what it sounds like is when you're in producing the thing mode, when that part's taking the lead, that's probably true. Yeah. 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 Fine. So can you let your producing the thing part know that this is my thing? That you're in? <laughs> she doesn't like that. <laughs> What, is, what, Wait. Is, what doesn't she like about it? She doesn't have to like it. What doesn't she like about that? She likes, she likes producing. She likes, like she, she's hearing that it's your thing, but it's also like the thing that I'm not loving. She's not loving about this whole virus thing. It's like, we like producing. We like having a full schedule. We like being, you know, really active and really busy. And um, that's the thing that I felt like on Sunday when I was trying to organize my schedule for Monday. So on Sunday, we kind of got the like, 
um, you know, schools are closed. And so what, what is this week going to look like? And so I was getting emails from some of my therapist friends that were switching all to telehealth, doing all of, all of sessions online. So Sunday night, I was starting to switch into like, I was um, texting and emailing my clients, like, you know, how's the week going to look, whatever. And I got this like punch in the gut, like <gasps> feeling. I remember I was giving my, this is me. This is crazy me. I'm giving my son a bath and I'm texting <laughs> and I got this. I remember I walked in the bathroom and I was like, <gasps> feeling of like, I'm not going to have a full schedule. Like I'm not going to produce. And this, it's the same, it's the same I mean, she's definitely feeling a little more sassy with you, but it's this, it's connected to that like punch in the gut. Like what if, what if all my clients cancel and I make no money and, um, but it's not about the money. It's more about having people in my schedule. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now, does she know you're there? You've just been speaking for her quite a bit. Just take a moment to connect make sure she knows you're there. Yeah. Slow it down with her and notice how you feel towards her. She works really hard. And she's got some worries, it sounds like. What I'm noticing what's coming up, what's coming up is, is the sassiness. The sassiness <laughs> that's like. Yeah, she thinks, she thinks very highly of herself. <laughs> and, I, and it looks like you're, you're enjoying her sassiness from your smile. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. But let, her, yeah. let her know that. Let her know you like her sassy she Great. And just stay with her. See what else she wants you to know. She's sassy. She's busy. She does a lot for you. Does a lot for the world. Mm. Oh, she likes that. <laughs> she likes that recognition. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Mm. So just stay in that appreciation of her. Just see what needs to happen. What comes up pretty, she likes that. What, what comes up pretty quickly is another part that said, that's reminding me that on Saturday, so Friday, you know, she was really active last week. Friday was really busy. Saturday was busy. Saturday afternoon was like, I had to go full stop. Like, let's lay on the couch. Let's snuggle. Let's watch movies. Let's just be in because it had been, because she had been so hard like running me so hard. And so this part of me, as I, as I try to sit with her, this other part of me comes up that's like, but if we let her run us so much, then we have to go to full stop. And then, and then we get depressed. Then we go full stop, which me, which goes to depression, which feels like depression. It goes to like staying in and it feels terrible. That feels terrible. Okay, good. So does that one's worry make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. And can you let her know that? Is it also aware of you? Yeah, that's actually feeling a little bit closer to me. Good. So I want this one to know that we're not inviting the one that, the productive one that works so hard. We're not inviting it to take over and run the show in this moment. We're just inviting it to be known by you, to be appreciated by you, even though this other one doesn't appreciate the intensity of it. You can. She says, but you let her run the show all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it sounds like there may be some truth in that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So your, your productive one is around a lot. It sounds like this one doesn't like the fact that it's around a lot. Uh, and it also sounds like if it's not around a lot, you know, doing, 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 you know, bathing my kid, texting and thinking and planning, uh, that there's a concern that there'll be a flattening in your system, which may or may not feel like depression. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. All right. Does that make sense to you? All that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It feels so good to be heard. I just felt that like, oh gosh, it feels so good to be heard and understood. It feels yeah, good. Good, good, good. All right, so there's a, a number of ways we can go. We can keep listening to these two that don't like each other particularly, or this one doesn't like that one, I should say. The productivity one hasn't made a comment on the other one. Or we could come to uh, the part that has gone into depression in the past to see what that's about, because that also will have a story to tell you. Or there may be other parts connected to all this now that you've acknowledged these that are also coming forward. 
So just see what needs to happen as I name those possibilities. What I'm hearing from something is about is this idea of my worth about something about the producing and like the the feeling of like the the air being knocked out of me has something to do with my worth uh-huh. and that like I'm not worth anything if I'm just laying around uh-huh. like if I if I decide or if like this productive part decides oh you can you can lay around it Saturday afternoon or like um like it's, it's the example is like if it's football season then you have this like you're allowed to lay around because it's you're watching football and you're having snacks and like you're allowed to but like right now you're it's like what worth are you if you're not what's saying what worth are you if you're not producing that's what i'm hearing okay okay can you let it know you're hearing that Thank you for that. I think this other one is giving me like examples of times I don't produce. Like there's like plenty of times I don't produce. Like I love reading and, but it's almost like, yeah. Yeah. So here's what I understand about what I call productivity managers. Cause I know I've got one too. Right? They can really enjoy and really be good at doing the whole productivity thing. Right? And that's great. There are also times when they feel compelled into doing the productivity thing. And that I have to, or what if I don't, is usually when it's a manager that's connected to an exile. And it sounds like that's what you've got here. You've got a part that feels like it's not worth much, or maybe not worth anything. And so this productivity part is, you know, we'll just keep putting out, right? And then that will prove that we've got some worth, some purpose, something like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm aware of the context of what we're doing here, Tammy. So I want to check with you. We could come to get to know that one that feels like she's not worth much uh, because that's a horrible feeling and it would just be nice to connect with her. Yep. Uh, I'm also aware that there are parts at the beginning saying they didn't want to get too personal and we have to have boundaries. So um, I just want to let those parts know that I'm aware of them. Um, And we could stay working with a protective bunch. And you can let this other one know that you're going to come back to it at some point. Or we could just touch in on her so that she knows you're there. It's a horrible place to be to feel like I'm not worth much and to feel alone in it. Mm -hmm. So see what needs to happen. Um, They love that you checked in with me about that. And this is not a topic that feels too personal. Great. Okay. So... um, they feel like, you know, we could stay with the protect- protectors kind of arguing back and forth and being kind of playful, but. All right, so let, let's go in. Let's yeah. Go in. Okay. So thank yeah. them all for that. And then just ask them all to soften back, especially the ones that would let you know about her. And then ask if it's okay for you to connect with this one directly. See where it feels like she is in or around your body. Not feeling like she's worth much. If it's a she. And then just drop into her in whatever way you do that. So you can let her know you're there. So I just got this. um, This image of this little girl and she's sitting on the floor. And she's got this. um, I mean, I'm just checking to make sure it's okay if I say this. Great. Okay. Okay. She's wait, got wait, this. wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Is it, I don't want to override any of the protective parts. Is it genuinely okay? Or is there a part kind of saying, yeah, compromising? I don't need to know. know what she's yeah. showing you. She can just show you herself. Mm. But if it is okay, it's easier for me to track. But that, that doesn't have to be the deciding factor. Well, I think... Okay, let me take a second. Yeah, just take a, take a moment. Whatever concern there may be about you letting me know how she's presenting, just listen to that concern. It's important. Otherwise, it could be backlash after the session, right? Like, oh, I shouldn't have said that, blah, blah, blah. So. 
Well, one of the one of the reasons why I feel like it needs to be said is that um, that there's no shame in it, okay. and that like I, it's okay to say it because I think that I felt shame or parts of me felt shame about it. Okay. Now everyone's gonna be like, "What is it?" and making it sound like such a big deal. Um, but there's parts of me that felt a lot of shame. And so I feel like if I don't say it, then it colludes with the parts that to say hide. Okay. And so. So the part with the concern, does, does it feel like it's been uh, suitably witnessed and attended to by you and it's giving you the permission? I want to make doubly sure. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. So let's move forward then. Thank you. Thank you, parts, for letting you know about the concerns. Okay, so it's a girl and she's, um, she's sitting on the floor and she's got her knees up and her head is kind of like in her knees and she's got, so when I was little, I had this security object of, and I used to call it my furry mm -hmm. and it was like, a, um, it was like this, you know, there's like plastic rabbits that you get that has like the fur on them and you would get them for Easter yeah. and they would be probably don't get them anymore, but they're like really, really soft. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess at one point when I was little that turned into like, I just had the fur part of this thing uh -huh. and I would carry it with me and I had it for years. And I think I maybe had different ones, uh -huh. but I had this thing for years. And so she's holding that. So she's like, I'm her holding my furry is what right. she's holding. And do you have a sense of about how old she is in this scene? Four is the number that's coming up. Okay, great. And I just want to take a little bit of time to make sure that the connection is there. So um, invited to be aware of you, um, that she's got your attention. That's why you're there with her. And I want to make sure that she's present day oriented. So can you ask her to tell you how old you are? And then just wait for the reply. So I'm sitting next to her and she's scooching away from me. Okay. So I'm um, sitting next to her may not be the best idea for now. Okay. Uh, so whatever part of you wanted to, you know, maybe get a little closer, just let her know we've got this covered, right? We've got it covered. Yeah. So that for some reason that, that bit of distance is important to her. So let's respect it for now. And then just ask her, does she know who you are? Does she know how old you are? And wait for her to respond. She doesn't know who I am. No. She, does, she doesn't want anything to do with me. She doesn't have to have anything to do with you. Okay. So can you let her know that? Mm -hmm. Good. Now, how do you feel towards her when she says, I don't want anything to do with you? Um, there's like an analytical part that's up a little bit. That's like, um, that's like, she's doing this, like, I'm all tangled up. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's doing this, like, little, like, half turn screen scooching thing yeah and there's like an analytical part that's going like she's um she's like um she's like not wanting attention but by her <laughs> by her behavior she's pulling for attention so she's saying like i don't want attention but she's pulling for it by just scooching away like no 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 like All right. those analytical parts coming up so thank you and the local part for that information right? and then ask it to soften back because chances are it's right. Okay. And then let's come back to how do you feel towards her when she says, I don't want you there. Or whatever. Yeah. So now I'm just feeling like love for her yeah. and just so much like softness. And I, I went from like standing, so I'm, I'm now further away from her yeah. and, um, and I'm some, but I kind of went from standing to just like kneeling, like that's yeah. like talking to her from like that posture. 
It's great. Good. Tammy, I have a teaching part this up, so I'm going to speak for a moment because it's aware that this is a teaching piece, and then we're going to come back. Is that okay? Great. Of course, yeah. So just be present with her. Um, the teaching part wants to say, when a young part pushes us away, rejects us, even two-year-olds having a tantrum, right? you're a mom, you know this, you, don't, you never leave the room. <laughs> you just stay present. And particularly because this one, um, something she believes about herself is that somehow she's not okay, right? So it's very important that she knows any way she wants to be with you is welcome, any way at all, because that's not been her experience. So um, I'm just naming that. I know you know that because you're with her and you've already connected, but I'm just naming that if there are anyone, anyone's observing that is wondering about that particular intervention. So that's my teaching part. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, so you're with her, you're kneeling, the connection feels like it's stronger somehow. Does she know who you are now? She may not care, she doesn't have to, but I want to check. Mm. And she, she did get your attention, that is why you're there with her. Mm. She doesn't have to say or do anything, she doesn't want to. There's something about she doesn't want to give me this. Okay. This isn't from her. There's almost like, a, um, not to make this complicated, but so there's like the four-year-old and then all of a sudden it's like, there is like the seven-year-old who's in this like dark clothes who like, doesn't want to give me the sad, like, I don't want to give you the satisfaction of telling you who I know who you are. Like, it feels very different than the four-year-old. Yeah. It's almost so like I'm, I'm getting that. Yeah. So it sounds like there's a relationship between these two. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's hmm. like she has the sassy, the, my thinking part is like, oh, she's got the sassiness of that per, the be productive one. Right. She's got like her sassiness. Okay. So this sounds like, now if I'm wrong, just throw it out. But what it sounds like to me is, the seven-year-old's got the sassy, so she's uh, probably protective. And she sounds like she's protective of the four-year-old. We don't have to give you nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So this is yeah. the origin of this dynamic, right? Productive and sassy and not feeling good about herself. Yeah, so just as you become aware of that, what do you notice? Mm, yeah, I just like, wow, that makes so much sense. And also, like, the four-year-old is also kind of like hiding and you know, she's really hiding and she's hiding in the furry she just wants to be with the furry she doesn't want any like she's like this like i just want to be with my furry like yeah um yeah i'm just like wow like that's i totally get that it makes so much sense yeah. to me just knowing myself like wow and i just honestly i just feel so much love for both of them yeah. like i just love both of them so just shine that on them right let them feel your warmth your open-heartedness your love and just be present to that. That's all you need to do. Mm. And then just see what needs to happen as you do that. The seven-year-old sits down and is like, fine. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Is what's it saying fine to? Does it think there's some hidden agenda we got here or something? <laughs> Well, it's almost like, fine, if you're going to be nice to us or if you're going to love us, fine, just oh. love us then. Like that oh, kind of it, like. Yeah. Oh, it's got nothing to push against. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So do that. Just be there and love them. They're amazing. Mm. And I, I'm, right. I, I'm really feeling, I'm really feeling a lot of love for both of them. But that feisty seven-year-old, it feels like a big sister or big brother part to me, like mm. really taking care of the sibling. You know, it's so nice to see. Mm. I'm so glad that little one's got this seven-year-old. So the seven-year-old loves that, loves hearing mm. that, and that feels really good. And so I want, I, I don't know if this is from self, but I'm really wanting that four-year-old to feel it. I don't, I feel like she's not feeling that. Like the seven-year-old is more open the four-year-old is I, I don't even know that she's aware of the seven-year-old tell me that's fine so this sounds like a, what i think of as a caregiving part of you the one that really wants that for the four-year-old so let, okay, this, let yeah. this yeah let this caregiving part know we're getting there we know what we're doing 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. And a reminder, and again, my teaching part's in, right? So a reminder that the protectors determine the safety of the work. Mm. Right? And so this seven-year-old, right? Very protective. Right? Fine if you just want to love us. Yeah. Let's stay with this seven-year-old because it sounds like, it, I get that it's feisty and it's high energy. I'm also aware that in its adult manifestation, there's a punch in the gut when it feels like it can't do its job in the way it wants to, right? So mm. very important that it's able to do its job. And I'm wondering how it feels about its job. Maybe we could ask it that. It feels like its job is really important. It is. Yeah. Yeah, good. Now, if there was anything about it, anything at all that it could change, if it was possible, you know, better pay, less hours, more vacations, would it be interested in that possibility or not? Is it just fine, like to the degree that it works? Well, all right, I'm just going to say what it just said. Right. It just said, well, more vacation, something about the vacation. I love vacations, so right. I don't know what this means, but something about, well, more vacations wouldn't be good for us because we need to work because we're very important people. Like we're very, yeah. we need to be, very, we need to be very important. Yes. And so more vacations would be, we're not very important. Got it. Okay. That, now, does that make sense to you? Cause I, that makes sense to me. It does now. Good. Okay. So yeah. let's ask it. How come it's so important to be so important? Uh, again, hypothetically, if it wasn't so important, what would happen? Oh my God. There's another part that's like, oh my God, you're not that important. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that one for its opinion. Oh. Yeah. Noted. And let's come back to this one that does need to feel important. She says she needs seven year old, pointing to the four year old. She right. needs to feel important. Okay. Good. Now it sounds like then the four-year-old actually may not feel important. Is that right? All right. So we could let the seven-year-old know this. The seven-year-old be... feels very important. I get it. She is. She really is. She really is. So I, I want you to let the seven-year-old know this. We have exactly the same um, intention here. We all want the four-year-old to feel better about herself. Mm. Okay? And the seven-year-old does it by bringing a lot of important energy into the system. And we could ask it if it could be an ally in a different way, because the seven-year-old may not know this, but if it allows you to hear from the four-year-old, if the four-year-old wants to share with you, how come it doesn't feel important, then we could help clear that from its system, because that's a false belief, that it doesn't matter, that it's not important, but it picked it up somewhere. And because it picked it up, we can help it to release it, which is something the seven-year-old is not able to do, but we can, if that feels okay. Okay, so as you were talking, the seven-year-old like knelt down next to the four-year-old uh -huh. and was like, um, like caressing her. Yeah. And the four-year-old said, "It's easier for me to not feel like I'm important because then, when my parents treat me as if I'm not important, then." then that's fine because I'm not important. So it's it. easier for me to handle that. Yeah. Good. That's really good. Thank you so much for letting you know that. Right. Because I don't know that, go ahead. Here, like that, I don't know that a, a four-year-old would say that, but that was just like the sense, like the yeah. complete, like I got that like in a second. Yeah, that, no, that's it. You're, you're, getting okay. the yeah, you're getting the information through, it sounds like through your intuitive faculty and then you're translating it into language. That's fine. So okay. invite your analytical part not to get hung up on that, on the deep end. Okay. Um, and hang on, I lost focus. Um, Sorry. No, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. It was my distracting part there. Um, for ah, good. Yes. So it sounds like the four-year-old's got what I call a resignation protector. We'll just resign ourselves to not being important, and then we don't have to worry, and then we don't have to feel hurt, and then we don't have to feel ignored or whatever else might happen if we're not resigned to it. Right? Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. Great. All right, great. So let the resigned one that's a part of the four-year-old, right? Let that resigned protector know that you totally get that strategy and it makes total sense. Mm. And make sure the resigned ones know, the resigned one, I'm sorry, make sure it knows how old you are now mm. and that it might be okay now. It might be safe now, just in this 
bubble that the three of us are in to hear from what it was like or what it is like when resignation is not there. It's too scary for resignation to not be there. Okay, no, good, that's great. So how about instead of it not being there, we don't want it to abandon its post. How would it be if it considered, instead of blocking the inflammation, if it kind of moved into being more like a valve, allowing some of it to come through and then shutting it down, which it's really good at. So mm. you, you can hear it bit by bit, but not in a way that gets too scary or too overwhelming. How's that? Yeah, that feels good. Great, okay, thank you for that. Okay, so just invite the resignation part to just soften back a little bit so you can make more direct contact with that little four-year-old. And just see what happens now as you do that. Something about mom and dad not being available or not feeling important or something. There's like a wave of sadness. Okay, good. Is this much sadness okay for you to feel? Mm -hmm. Okay, let the little one know you get she's sad. Just let her know you get that. <laughs> I also have a part that's like, don't lose it. <laughs> sure. Don't completely lose it right now. Yeah, absolutely. But yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can ask the little one, if it does feel like you might lose it, just ask the little one to dial it back just a little bit. But in a way that's invitation, you want to invite her to be known in her sadness. We're not pushing her sadness yeah. away. Okay. And, and the best way she can be known is to just bring it to you a little more gently, even though it's really big for her. I don't know you can get that without her flooding you. Good. Yeah. yeah. She's sad. How come she's so sad? What does that sadness connect to? Like mom, mom, mom not paying attention to me. Okay. You get that, Femi? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Let her know you get that. She carries deep sadness about that. Yeah. And it also sounds like the way she makes sense of that is by deciding that it's because she's not important or something. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So does that make sense that she start to believe that about herself? Yeah. Makes sense to me too. Okay. Thank her for all that she's doing great. Right. So she feels really sad. She believes that mom doesn't pay attention because she's not that important. She doesn't really matter. Keep listening. See what else she needs you to know. I feel like she's aware of like other protectors that are like now these like shadowy figures that are standing around her. Like you better not say another word. Uh -huh. Great. So she's got a lot of protection. Mm -hmm. Good. So can you send a message to all of those protectors? Invite them to be aware that it's 2020. That the only people here are you and me. There is no mom and dad around. There is no one that is going to judge her or criticize her or hurt her in any way. Mm. And then see how they respond. They like, um, like went away, like. Great, okay, so they really needed to that update and that reassurance. I'm really glad they let us know about how they've been protecting her. She's very important to them as well. Mm. Yeah. So come back to her now. What else has she been holding for you? That she wants to be a good girl. Yeah. Okay, so how is it that, that she thinks she's not a good girl? When mom gets mad. Okay, so mom gets angry sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And when mom's angry part is up, she feels like it's because she's not good. Okay, good. That makes sense to you too? Yeah. Yeah, me too, yeah. yeah it's hard to be around mom's angry part. Right? So. 
Yeah. Good. Doing great. Keep asking. What else has she been holding? What else has been hard for her? She's showing me like um, my mom and I lived in this apartment. Like it was a house that was broken up into two apartments and we lived in this apartment and she's now she's kind of like crawling around. I don't know what she's showing me, but she's like crawling around the floor. Okay. So let her know you're not entirely clear on what she needs you to know by showing you that and just ask her if she can help you be more clear. Okay. She's showing me like a teddy bear. Okay. And I don't have a memory of this, but I know that I think at some point my mom, like I wouldn't clean up my room. And so my mom threatened to throw away my teddy bears. And I think she did. Uh -huh. I don't remember that, but that's like a story. Yeah. I actually am picturing now like my mom, like throwing them out of, the second floor window mm -hmm. again like I don't actually think that happened but like okay, so you're, you're remembering part and the part that's trying to figure out if it happened just get them to pull back it doesn't matter it okay. doesn't matter because that's what this part is showing you she's showing you an image of all the bears being thrown out of the window right yeah so just ask her how come she's showing you that image what is she wanting you to know well, oh, that's really scary. And those are my teddy bears. And like, in the, she's throwing them out like in, in like in a really out of control, like at completely out of control way. Okay, great. Like mom is completely out of control throwing these out the window. Right. That's what she needs you to know. She gets really scared when mom gets out of control. Like that's how important it is that I'm like a good girl. Right. Like, oh, got it. Okay. Because if you're not, mom might get angry and then kind of crazy out of control. And that's yeah. scary, yeah. Yeah, so she has to be a good girl in terms of how she behaves. Yeah. And on the inside, she worries that she's not a good girl, is that right, or? Well, it's, it, she was saying it's like ties into the importance that I'm important because then like, if I'm a good girl and then I'm important because then mom can do the other things that she needs to do and doesn't have to worry about me. Okay. Okay, so it sounds like she's also got some sense that she's a burden to her mom in some way. That's really important to know. Good, thank you for that. Mm. Yeah, how are you feeling towards her now? Yeah, I, I feel um, love for her and I yeah. feel like she's being so brave she's really telling sweet. me these things and yeah. Yeah. So um, you can just invite her to be aware of this, Tammy, because she is being really brave. Once she's let you know everything about what she's been holding that's been so hard for her, we're going to help her to not have to hold that anymore. Right? So see how she feels about that possibility. She's feeling really, really liked showing me She's feeling really connected to me. Like we're feeling really connected. Right. And so she's feeling like a lot of trust for me. And um, so she's like, yeah, that is, that sounds good. <laughs> All right, great. So, but we want to make sure we've got everything because we want to make sure she never, ever has to go back there again. Okay. And she's already let you know a lot. And I don't know what else she might be holding, but we're going to listen to her until she's told you everything. And there's no rush. But let's just see what else is there. What else has been hard for her? Beliefs about herself, feelings, experiences. Well, this idea that she's a burden. Mm -hmm. um, there was so much over trying to tell me how important <laughs> So my mom was a teenager when she had me, my, mm -hmm. both my mom and dad were teenagers. Mm -hmm. And so there was this overcompensating of how important I am. Mm -hmm. 
it's funny that she's using that word. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you just acknowledging that I was a burden, not that you were acknowledging that, but that Mm -hmm. feeling, this is almost like I had a feeling that I was a burden, even as they're telling me that I'm so important. Like there was this miss, I mean, I'm little, I don't know that she's a teenager. Like, I don't know, but it's like this feeling that's this missed feeling of like, So like, yeah, it felt like I was a burden yeah. and it felt like the best thing I could do was just be a really good girl. Right. That was like the most important thing I could do was just be a good girl. Yeah. yeah. And then I wouldn't be so much of a burden. Right. So that became a strategy. Mm. And part of being a good girl is being productive in later life. It's the same dynamic, right? But it takes on a different, mm-hmm. yeah. It all makes so much sense. Thank you for that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's a horrible feeling to feel like a burden. So see if there's more, see if there's more she needs to know. And also the confusion, it was hard, it's hard to be, to have that confusion of feeling like a burden, but then being told yeah. that you are awesome and yeah. you're a lifesaver and you're the best thing or whatever. Yeah, that is really confusing. It is confusing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I just was like, so how, is there anything else? And mm-hmm. now she's like sitting at the table eating cereal and like kicking her feet. Uh-huh. Nope. Like, okay. all right. Okay, good. So it sounds like she's ready to release all that stuff then. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, she moves pretty fast. I like her so much. <laughs> okay. Mm. So um, just invite her. Maybe put the cereal down for the moment. She can come back to it in a minute if she likes. But I want you to invite her to um, either you can go back to where she is or she can come into the present with us or you can both go somewhere where she would like to do this. But you're going to invite her to take all of that stuff she's been holding, the the difficult feelings, the beliefs about herself, and she's going to send it all away. She could send it to the earth. She could send it into water, into fire, into light, or into the air, but in any way that makes sense to her. Or of anything else. What would you like to let all that go to now that you know about it? So I have to my therapist thinking part is I need to ask that to relax a little bit. <laughs> Good. So I can ask her what she wants. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Good catch. So she's remembering this huge snowstorm that happened because this was Mm. like in the 70s and there was a crazy snowstorm and there is pictures of this house with a snowstorm. So she's saying, I want to dig a really big hole, like not just in the snow, but like move all the snow back and dig like the biggest hole and like have fun like while I'm digging the hole, but then put all this stuff in there. All right. So invite her into that process and just let me know when she's done. Okay. Okay. (laughs) She's fast. Okay. So uh, I want you to invite her to check her body one last time. Does it feel clear now? Or is there anything at all in there that doesn't feel like it belongs to her that she'd like to get rid of? She feels bouncy is the word. (laughs) Okay. Bouncy? I don't know. Good. Bouncy. All right. All right. So it sounds like there's, there's the, she's cleared what she needed to clear. So it also sounds like she's taking in bouncy or she's returning to her bouncy. Um, see if there's anything else that's going to make her feel whole again or complete or anything else she wants to take in for herself or own. Bouncy. What else? What else is true about her? Mm-hmm. There is this feeling of not having so i don't know what this is but mm-hmm. this could be a, th- a th- thinking part that's coming up about like not having to be a good girl 
And it almost is like, that's what's giving the bouncy, like, oh my gosh, like, I, if I don't have to be the good girl, like, I can't even imagine what that would feel like. Yeah. Like, oh. Okay. I just want to discern or help you discern something here. That might be the protector that's coming in very automatically and saying, oh, I don't, because it's her protective part that has the strategy of being the good girl. Yeah. Okay. So it might be that. Yeah, it doesn't part. feel like it's. Yeah, it feels like there's something else coming in. It's not her just like bouncing. Great. It's this other right. thing. It's like so. Let's let yeah. this let this protector and all the other protectors know. We're going to come to them in a moment, actually. Okay. But just ask. I really want to finish this piece with her so it's complete, and so we know she's good. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just come back to her. She that's all buried in the snow. Her body's clear. It sounds like is that right? It's all yeah. gone. All right. What would she like to take in for herself now into the space she made? Well, you know what? She wants to get out of that. She's still like in the 70s. Right. So she's feeling like she's still there and she wants to leave that yard. Yeah. So she's like, I need to leave the yard. Yeah, she can leave the yard. Where would she like to go? She can go anywhere she likes now. She's not stuck there. Right. Unless she likes Jane Fonda leggings, she can come into the present. She can age. Can... I think they're coming back. I oh, think okay. those things are coming back. Because so. I kept mine. I kept mine in just in case. <laughs> <laughs> the leotard? Do you have the leotard too? I'm not answering that question in public. Um, where would you like to settle? Seriously, she can go anywhere. She could tuck herself into your heart if that feels right Aww. for her. Yeah. Mm. So she has this idea that she wants to like bounce and end up in a field of like flowers mm. and then there is like a castle like a like a like a tree house castle sort of thing uh-huh and she wants to hang out there that sounds like a fun place to hang out so invite her to bounce there it's great yeah she's there yeah Great. Okay. My, my intuition is that her bouncing protector is going with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's bouncing happening. There's a lot of bounce happening. Good. Anything, now she's there. Anything else that she wants or needs for herself? Or does that feel like she's good now? She feels really good. Great. All right. So um, I want you to let her know that you're going to check in with her every day for about three weeks, if that feels doable. If yeah. it's not, don't make the promise. If you've got parts saying I'm too busy or we've got this crazy virus shit to deal with, then don't make a promise if you can't fulfill it. Yeah. No, nope, that feels good. That feels yeah. good. All right. So let her know you're going to do that. And you know where to find her. She's in the treehouse. <laughs> yeah. All right. Great. Great. So we're going to withdraw the very focused attention from her for now. You'll be back tomorrow. Let's come now to these protectors, right? She had the uh, resigned protector. She had that fabulous seven-year-old that, that led us to her with its productivity. There was the shadowy kind of enclave of protectors that were available and ready um, to ensure that nothing happened to it. Invite them all in. Invite them to be aware of this shift in your system, that she's no longer stuck in that place feeling those things. And then see if there's any comments, concerns, or questions from any of these parts. So the resigned one mm -hmm. is like that it needs to, it, it helps other parts mm -hmm. because it feels like that's important. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, it's, it's kind of saying like, that's nice and good, but you still need me around. Absolutely. And we don't want to get rid of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. But you, you might have invited to notice that in terms of this particular part, it can step okay. down. It can step down. It can take a little bit of a break, right? Mm, okay. But it sounds like there are other parts that it's connected to that it's important that it maintains its role. So, yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. We don't want to get rid of any parts. That would be foolish. Yeah. Unless they want to change, then it's coming from them. Yeah. Okay. Any others you're hearing from? The seven-year-old is just really happy for her. Oh, good. Yeah. So the seven-year-old started off ensuring, you know, good girl behavior and then productivity and working real hard all the time. Um, 
you can invite it now. Is there anything about its role it, it might like to shift? Now it's no longer compelled by her or is it just doing just fine as it is? It skipped away. Yeah, it just okay. skipped. Yeah, sounds like it's doing fine. Yeah. Yeah, great. And the shadowy parts are just, they're fine. Good. They're like, we'll come in when we need to. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Great. Good. Thank them for that. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Any other parts now with any comments about your work today? Questions, concerns? I know you got a big analytical part because that was in and out. Uh, no, I feel good. I feel like uh, that feels really good. Okay. Okay, so I want you to just, just before we close, Tammy, bring your attention back to that scene where you're washing your boy's hair, you're texting your friends, and then there was that moment of, <laughs> if I'm not productive, because right? that's kind of what led us to her. So come back to that moment and see what comes up for you now. Does it still feel like mm. the punch in the gut, or does it, has it shifted in any way? Mm. Yeah, I feel like it's like the thought of like this vague thought of like not having anything to do or any clients to see. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't feel like a, I'm not getting a reaction. I'm not getting anything. It doesn't feel like a fear. It doesn't feel like, it actually feels like go put your phone away and play in the tub. Oh. It has that feel. And not in a critical way, but just to oh, like, no. ah, I don't, we don't need to do this. Let's just, let's just be here and play. Right. Let's play mobile characters and yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like there's permission to do that now, even though it's not a scheduled event, like a sporting event. <laughs> right. Good, nice. well, this is bath time. Bath time is a scheduled play <laughs> event. Play, go. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like that. Yeah. Feels yeah. Like. yeah, no, good. Yeah, so yeah, that's just an indication that something shifted, which is what we wanted to check. So that's great. Yeah, it feels All good. That's right. great. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice Thank you, work. Derek. You are so that was beautiful. Welcome. I'm so mm. glad you got her out of that. It's great. So beautiful. Thank that's you so great. much. You're very welcome. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> um, do you want to sit with this for a bit or do you think this is okay to let people see or you know, there's some vulnerability no, yeah. there. you're okay yeah no. definitely great thank you yeah thank you Derek wow right. 